Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So glad you guys clicked on this video. I'm gonna be sharing all of the things, all of the beauty and lifestyle things with you guys that I have accumulated over a little bit of time. These are my current favorite products. All right, starting off, we're gonna go over glassware and kitchenware because I do get questions about like my bowls and glasses because I absolutely love presenting my food in just a really pretty way. So I'm gonna go over just the few that I get questions about the most. Starting with bowls, because I use bowls all the time. I love bowls. Prefer bowls over plates. Um, I get most of my stuff from Crate and Barrel. This gray bowl is from Crate and Barrel, and this is one I use quite often in my videos. It's just very pretty and simple, and Crate and Barrel is so cheap, you guys. This one's from World Market. This is another one I get asked about quite often. It has like a little bit of texture and like divots. It's just a really nice white bowl, and I really love the shape of it. That one was also very cheap. And then this one is probably one of my favorites because it's like a plate, but a bowl. And I use this so much, and I got this one from Target. This is the Project 62 brand. And then my two favorite glasses for coffee I get asked about often are beer glasses. This is an IPA glass, and I put my coffee, my iced coffee, it's kind of dirty. Um, it has like a little bit of watermarks, <laughs> but I put my coffee in this one and it's just so pretty and it's just so nice to drink coffee sometimes from a really pretty glass. And then this one also is from Crate and Barrel. Um, so I will leave all of this stuff, of course, will be linked down below for you guys if I can find a link for it. And then this is like the cutest little parfait glass. I got this from Crate and Barrel as well. It's just so dainty and so cute and we make lots of parfaits and put it in this little cute glass. This is my current water bottle I've been drinking out of and I know the straws are very common but honestly the straws get kind of gross and I really don't like cleaning them with that little brush. So I got this wide mouth one and I really like it. It's 32 ounces and I like that it has like a little handle. So I got a pink one and a black one for my husband and we've been drinking so much water. We are so hydrated and I swear it's because like these water bottles. We fill it up with ice, add water, and have like three to four of these a day. So get yourself a good water bottle. They're like eight dollars. All right, next let's get into some shoes. I only have two pairs of shoes that are worth showing because I absolutely love them and highly recommend them. Everything I'm showing is only things that I absolutely love and would feel comfortable knowing that you're spending your money on. I needed a new pair of running shoes, walking shoes, just workout shoes in general. Um, specifically walking though because I walk the dogs quite often and I wanted a nice comfortable pair of shoes that were good for wide feet and that were really good for ankle support because I have sprained my ankle in the past and sometimes certain shoes kind of make it flare up and hurt and I wanted something that looked nice and I've heard about Sorel sneakers before and I heard all the hype about them and I was like let me try them out. Let me see if they're worth the hype. They are. I'm going to buy another pair, a black pair, because I love them so much. They're so comfortable and they're just the perfect shoe. They have great support, great ankle support. They're easy to put on. They're good for wide feet. They kind of actually kind of spread apart and expand. They're very comfortable. I feel like they look really nice as well. This is the tan beige color. And I absolutely love them so much. These are probably the best sneakers that I've ever worn. They're just so comfortable. You know some sneakers when you put on feel really hard? Yeah, like that's the only way I can explain it. Like they're really hard. These are really soft like on the side of your foot. So yeah, Sorel knows what they're doing with their sneakers. They're so good, you guys. I think they're like 90 bucks, but I promise you worth it and then the last pair of shoes like I mentioned I, I didn't have too many shoes to share with you guys is some heels because I am I have a love-hate relationship with heels I can't really wear he heels I love heels and I love how they look I think they make your feet look so pretty and like sexy but I'm not comfortable in heels I feel like they're so uncomfortable I can't walk long in them and yeah so I have to find heels that are comfortable and low heel and just all around really good for wide feet I got these from Shein and they are just a tan heel look how freaking small this heel is like it's super super tiny and then this is where the the best part comes in these expand 
it's a nice stretchy material so if you have wide feet these are the perfect heels and they're just very simple i feel like a neutral heel is the way to go and i love that it has these little texture to it so it adds just a little something extra and then the low heel and i've been wearing these so much and they just look so cute they're just a little extra with your outfit so really been loving those and those were also very affordable and then some purses kind of a few purses i really really love purses that's kind of like a weakness of mine is purses <laughs> um i have a lot of purses i just think especially too like if you're trying to grow your instagram and trying to get into um just like more fashion related photos and just i don't know cute little aesthetic photos and you're trying to grow your instagram or social media i feel like purses are a great way to take pictures because sometimes pictures can be a little awkward and you don't know what to do with your hands i feel like if you have a purse it's just so more comfortable i always feel like purses are like my comfort when i'm taking a photo especially out in public i don't know what it is but i need a purse <laughs> so this is a really cute one this is just a simple Per, it was like eight dollars ten or eight dollars and it the bright green is very in right now and i actually really love this bright green color and the gold accents to it and like i said it's just a a simple cute little clutch with a gold little chain so it has a cute gold chain you're not getting like a balenciaga high quality purse you guys it's just an amazon purse but it's really cute and i feel like in photos especially it looks even better in photos it photographs really well so i love this one and then the next purse i love this purse it's on the smaller side so it's really good for just like if you're going out to like a dinner and you only want to pack like lip gloss your phone and your wallet this is a perfect purse it's white and it has the like alligator skin texture and then the cutest little part about it is this chain and it has like tan and brown color like a tortoise white little chain and it's just really really cute i love it i love that you can hold it like this or you can put the strap on it has like two little straps options and it's just so cute it's a really really cute purse and it looks like a little bit better quality than some of them out there and it's from amazon and then next is my famous flower <laughs> fluffy flower purse and even though we're getting into fall i still feel like you could pull this off in fall with some like brown or orange outfits with like a black and white purse i feel like you could definitely pull this off it's it's not just like a spring purse um, but it's so freaking cute I mean it's fluffy black and white and it's actually a really great size like you can fit a lot of stuff in here so super cute love that one and then last for like purses and bags are these are like your best friend when taking photos I use these often these are like colorful little net bags I take these to the beach all the time i take them to the grocery stores if i'm doing like a shopping trip they have so many colors these are just my three favorite colors that i use the most and i absolutely just love these again if you're trying to grow your instagram and take photos and stuff these are also a really good prop um and they're really they come in handy i use them all the time i have some that are like old and ratty that i've had for so long um so i've actually repurchased some current ones and i really like them so those are the net bags and then to continue on with clothes and then we'll get into like skincare and makeup and stuff but i'm gonna leave everything on hangers because it's just easier for me to like put them up after <laughs> but these are like transitional shirts for fall because they're still very lightweight and thin and breathable but there are these little knit kind of colored shirts this is a tan the tan one and like they're literally see-through kind of like they're very very thin so i feel like this is perfect if you live in a warmer state like i live in florida so like transitioning into fall it's still pretty hot so these are perfect but they look kind of cozy and fall like a fall vibe so i got the tan one and i love that they're like really low like this so you can wear like a cute little bralette i usually use wear like a solid bralette under like a black or white one I love it so much that I got a second color. This is a dark navy blue. I love, 
love this and they're very big like they're oversized I do size up with these because I want them oversized I don't really want a tight fit but if you do want a tight fit you could size down even because I feel like they're oversized so you might want to size down if you want it to be kind of more of a tight fit but I absolutely love them so much and they're really comfortable and they feel like they're like super great quality but they're just from H&M um, but the quality of them are so so nice all right something I'm really digging for fall is blazers um I couldn't do the summer blazer. I know that was like kind of popular to wear like cute blazers and heels and like shorts, like jean shorts. It was just too hot. But for fall, you best believe I'm gonna be wearing blazers all the time. I got a black one and a pink one, but I just wanted to show the black one because I'm more into the black rather than the pink. And I wanna get some other colors, but this one's so comfy, it's so nice. I got it from Boohoo. It was great in price and it, I love the length that it's pretty long and I like that it had pockets. I think that looks really cute. I prefer a pocket blazer rather than just no blazer because I feel like that looks more like a cardigan. And I was gonna wear this with like longer denim shorts and boots. And then you could also wear some cute heels, some strappy heels and jeans. You could like play it down and make it casual like that. So I feel like you have some options. You could even throw on some like Nikes, some like white Nikes or something would be really cute. So I think a blazer is just perfect because you can do like day and night with it. So. You'll be seeing me in this very soon, once it cools off a little bit. <laughs> Next are my favorite non-denim pants. I have these in a tan color as well. These are black, like loose fit, almost like beachy, but they're a silky material. And they just look so good. Like, they're so flattering. If you're trying to kind of hide your midsection, I feel like these pants are just so good. Denims, like, denim jeans really accentuate my stomach. I usually prefer pants like this for that reason. And they're way more comfortable. And I think they look really great. And then last is, like, my... Oh, I love this shirt. It's so pretty. I'll also insert a picture of me wearing this shirt. But it's this really beautiful green color and this is the color I'm going for for fall. I just want everything in this beautiful like mustard green color but this shirt is so pretty. I did size up in this because I wanted the like boob cut out, the chest cut out um, to be a little bit bigger because I have a larger chest and I wanted it to look right. It does fit a little bit loose on the shoulders, but overall I'm glad I sized up. If you have a larger chest, I would size up, but if you don't, if you have a smaller chest, then just order true to your size. Um, but keep in mind if you do size up, then this is a little bit looser and longer. Um, so it's a little bit less cropped, which I also like. And you could even pair this shirt with the black pants. is really cute. And then you could get like a bright colored shoe. Would be really pretty. Or even like a gold shoe or white. But I love these silky pants with this shirt. It's just so beautiful. And silver jewelry or gold jewelry looks great with this. So I just... This is by far like my favorite shirt that I've ordered. I love it. And then last is my current favorite bra this bra it is so good you guys i don't like bras i rarely rarely am wearing like a padded bra like that just does not happen i usually wear bralettes sports bras or like bras like this so let me get it ready okay i got this from h&m and it is just a non-padded non-wireless but somehow supportive bra it's it's the best this is what it looks like i just got a black one i'm gonna order more of course um but yeah it is seriously so comfortable you can tighten the straps so that it has some support and it's just so comfy like it's just spandexy and stretchy and you're just comfortable but you're supported and like this bra is like the bra where you're like you need to go to the grocery store but you need to put on a bra but you don't want to <laughs> wear this put this on and you, you literally feel like you're not wearing really much of anything so I'm just really happy I found this because I struggle with that having such a large chest I really struggle with bras so I wanted to share that for my fellow ladies who have large breasts and can f relate to this even if you have a smaller chest this bra is just so comfortable and gives you some support uh, it's not a push-up bra it's not gonna hike them up up to your collarbone but I mean do people still do that I don't know all right I feel like maybe I can say this maybe I'm slightly known let me know for my jewelry <laughs> I feel like 
I don't know. I love jewelry. I feel like I'm wearing jewelry a lot in my videos. I get questions about my jewelry a lot. I absolutely love trying new jewelry. That's the one thing that just makes me feel so good. I just absolutely love jewelry. I get questions about this ring all the time. This is the Perry ring from Objex. I'll leave a link down below if they still have it. This isn't actually my wedding ring. My wedding ring doesn't fit me anymore and I wanted to wait. It was like sliding off and I wanted to wait till I lost all the weight to resize it so I wasn't like resizing it every so often. Um, this is just like a replacement ring that I just <laughs> thought was beautiful and I absolutely love it. So I will leave that link down below but I wanted to share my current favorite pieces that I have recently got. So the first necklace is from, I think it's called Nixie. I will leave everything linked down below. So if I get it wrong, I apologize, but I believe it's from Nixie, N-I-X-I. This is a gold chain necklace with a green pendant. They have other colors. They had a purple and a blue that were just stunning, but I really liked the emerald green. So I went with that. And this is a great necklace to layer with as a main focus necklace and then you could you could layer it with some accent necklaces so I I love this necklace so much it's so beautiful and then next is this very cute simple necklace this is just like a basic necklace but a little extra because it has this really cute little design it almost looks like a little chain super cute and I love these chains with the little dots I don't even know how you would describe them but you know what I'm talking about like the little dots throughout I think it's just so cute so I wear this necklace often it's just a really great piece for like everyday wear and especially like for work if you work in an office sometimes I know you can't wear like too much jewelry I feel like that would be a great like simple necklace to wear next is my favorite bracelet right now it is so cute it's from caitlin minimalist and it's just this cute little diamond studded necklace with little hearts it is so so cute i bought one for my mom because she was going crazy for it i feel like this is a good bracelet for all ages and that's what i really like about it too is anyone no matter what age you are i feel like a little girl would like this but i also feel like someone a little bit more mature would like this bracelet because it's like very simple like the hearts are kind of almost like you even have to kind of guess what it is when you see it on someone but it's just such a cute bracelet I could not recommend this bracelet more it's just so cute and also all of the jewelry that I share I feel like is good for plus size women some necklaces that you buy they're so short some bracelets that you buy don't fit all of these are great for like plus size women I also really like that all right now for the good good stuff the makeup and the hair and everything like that um let's start with this curling iron which thank you for um you guys for letting me know how to curl my hair with this i was doing it wrong the whole the whole time <laughs> and now that i know how to use it properly i am obsessed with it this is the ling um curling wand airflow wrap that was kind of a mouthful but this is what it looks like it's they have a white a tan and a black no not white pink i got the black one but basically this has air come out of these little holes so it sets your curls and it glides your hair so nice it actually is a straightener so you're able to straighten your hair and curl it and i was doing it so wrong you guys i was literally just not knowing what i was doing but you want to grab your hair and slowly glide it out and curl it and it gives you the most beautiful like voluminous bouncy curls or you could do more of like a lived in natural curl just don't leave it in as long which I prefer I did my hair yesterday and this is the next day hair um, so it's such a great freaking product because you can straighten your hair and curl it so I got rid of my straightener I got rid of all my curlers I didn't need them and now I just have this one bad boy and I love it so much and it's a really good price if you have noticed my hair is getting longer and it's looking very healthy and my hair has just improved so much I have been taking hair vitamins and raw zinc and collagen to help with it but ever since I switched to these products I've been using these products for like five months and I use all of my hair products for this with this one brand and my hair has improved so much it might be a little bit pricey but 
it is so worth it to have good products and I never honestly believed in that like I would just kind of use whatever but then one day I was like let me invest in it because I my hair was just not growing my hair was not looking good and then yeah this just changed the game for me and I will literally never go back to anything else it is the day hair products now I only have the deep conditioner I just grabbed the deep conditioner out of the shower but I have the conditioner and the shampoo so I have the shampoo I wash my hair with I use the conditioner and then I do the deep conditioner like once a week um, but this is the day hair products you guys it's so 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 good and my hair has just been growing it looks so shiny it looks so healthy it is just amazing and then I use the day cactus flower leave-in conditioner when I get out of the shower I spray this in my ends and I brush it through this is the day leave-in conditioner I love that thing <laughs> and then I use the day prickly pear hair oil I use this when it's wet I even use it sometimes when it's damp or dry I just run it through the ends and then sometimes even if I curl my hair and I want it to look a little bit more shiny I'll add this just a very very little like you do not need a lot as you can see I haven't even used that much but I use it pretty much almost every day almost almost every day um, it's seriously so good and it smells amazing so all of the day products I highly highly recommend like you guys you have to try it but you you can't just try it for like a day or a week or you know a few days you have to give it some time like I really noticed a difference actually I noticed a difference like within my hair and how it felt um, right away right right when I used it but as for growth like the hair growth that did take a little while so give it some time but it works like my hair looks night and day different since I've used these products so I wanted to rave about it and really like be firm with it because <laughs> it's seriously that good all right next is oh my gosh this is the best body oil I got this sample of the Fenty Skin Booty Drop from Sephora. I just picked it as a sample and I tried it and I knew instantly I was buying the full thing. It is 48 bucks, which is kind of a lot. Was it 48 or 38? Mm, I'll leave it on the screen. I forget. But holy moly, you guys. This is what it looks like if you want to know the label. And then this is the, what it looks like. For one, it smells amazing and it's a oil-based lotion and oh my gosh it smells so good my skin is so hydrated and my skin glosses but it's not greasy like I've used other body oil based lotions and body creams and I didn't like them but this one it's so good all right next is some face sunscreen stuff I like both of these but I wanted to tell you both of them are good but I wanted to tell you a few differences the Ren Clean Screen Mineral SPF. This one I like because it's more mattifying. So when I put it on, it doesn't give you that glow or like that greasy look. It almost makes your skin look like one toned. And I actually really like that. And I like the ingredients better from the Ren. This is what it looks like. That is the pros on that. And then the pros on the Tula Protecting Glow is it's the same. It's SPF 30. This is, has probiotics and superfoods, which I do like, and it gives you the glow, that more like greasy glow look. So if you like that, then you'll like this. The only thing I don't like about this one is the texture. I feel like it's a really weird texture. I don't know if you guys can relate to that. This one's more of like a lotion texture. This one's more of like a jelly lotion texture. So I feel like that's like kind of strange and I don't prefer that but I do like that this gives a glow and I wanted to mention why you should be using um, SPF every day on your skin one it's gonna help with sun damage and two if you've noticed people who have really even skin tone it's because they're probably using SPF 30 because SPF 30 protects you from the Sun so you're not getting burned in like different places of your skin when you put on protection it's more of a just like all one skin tone which looks more glat like the glass skin and just um, gives you really nice looking young skin so that's why you want to use SPF if you didn't know because actually for a while I didn't know that <laughs> and people talk about it all the time and they don't really mention that so I wanted to mention that that's a really great benefit of sunscreen obviously protection but also that like perfect even well not perfect but really good even skin tone because skin is never perfect let's admit to that skin is never perfect 
And then let's go into more skincare because we're about it. You guys know I love skincare and I am going to do an updated skincare. Um, I was using Hello Body and I absolutely recommend Hello Body, but then I switched all of my Hello Body because I do that. I like, I don't want to stay the same all the time. You don't want to switch too much. You want to like use the same thing for a while. And I feel like I was using Hello Body for almost a year. And then Ren sent me some stuff, just a few things. And then I was like, holy moly, this stuff is so good. And I bought a ton of products and now have officially switched everything, everything I use to Ren. So these are the two products that stand out the most to me. Um, is hydration. So this is the daily cream. This is the Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream from Ren. This is my favorite day cream I've ever used. It's perfect. It's so hydrating. It's not greasy. It smells so good. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's just like, you know when you put on something and you're like, whoa, I know this is good. That's how it is. I like them because they're good ingredients. They help save the planet. They donate money to the ocean. They do so much for the community. I just, I really like them. They're super diverse. Like if you go on their Instagram page, it's clear as day how diverse they are. They use natural ingredients. They add like mushrooms and like grass and herbs and all kinds of really cool stuff into their products. So check out their Instagram. You'll get a little bit more of a feel for them and you'll probably fall in love like I did. And then this is, oh, this has changed my skin. If you've noticed the glow in my skin, it's this. It's the Ren Ever Calm Overnight Recovery Balm for Sensitive Skin. So it's literally like a balm, like a, <laughs> it looks like a lip balm, but it's for your skin. And you need the smallest amount. You guys, I'm not being dramatic when I say like, like, tap it rub it in and then rub it all over your face <laughs> and hydrate your face sleep with it and you'll wake up with just beautiful hydrated glowy plump skin and it's just it's really nice if you use too much it will feel greasy um, so you want to use the t the tiniest amount you can always add more they're a little bit on the pricey side like a little bit more pricey than some products out there but their products last so long because you don't need much some products that you're buying that are more affordable you have to use so much of it because they're not potent good ingredient products so you're really just like keep buying it because it's running out so fast you're probably spending way more than if you just buy a good product and a good brand um so just keep that in mind i have just a few things i wanted to share one being my favorite face tint i use this so much i don't really know how to pronounce this brand i think it's saie it's s-a-i-e and this is the Slip Tint Broad Spectrum. It has SPF 35 sunscreen and tinted moisturizer. And this is the color four. So this is for when I self tan, keep that in mind. This is for like when I'm tan and I have some color. But this is a great little cream if you're wanting to use like a BB cream and or like just a face tint and have some coverage but want the SPF then check this out I really 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 love them I've tried so many of these tinted moisturizer SPF sticks and this one's probably my favorite so wanted to share that and my two favorite lip colors I'm wearing the one I'm wearing today is Oat from Tower this is the brand Tower and they have great lip glosses you guys like they're so beautiful um they're not sticky i just love the application i love how they feel on the lip um so yeah oat is a beautiful nude peach color and then this one's a little bit darker this one is the cashew so this one's a little bit darker this one's a little bit lighter as you can see the difference but i feel like this one's going to be so beautiful for fall um yeah love tower lip glosses so much and i feel like they give out a little bit more of a natural lip and then i also love this is my <laughs> this is like my holy grail this is the undone beauty um big papa gloss in peach and honey i love undone products i also have a blush from them they have um cream blush that i love i recommend literally all of their blushes all of their cream blushes are 10 out of 10 and then the undone beauty this is my second bottle <laughs> it's really really good it's beautiful it gives a really pink peachy color it almost looks like you've pinched your lips or like have plumper on like it just plumps your lips up and just looks so pretty and natural and has the prettiest pink tint so i love the undone beauty um gloss 
And then next is this Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This is a cream highlighter. I love this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. And look at this applicator. Like, are you kidding? It's like a little sponge. I usually tap my finger on it and put it on, but it is stunning. It is golden gold glitter highlighter. It's just so pretty, and I love cream highlighter lately. Um, I just think cream cream products, cream makeup products are just beautiful. I feel like you can, it just looks so natural and you can like control it more than you can with powder. So I love that. I have also love this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I've never used to use setting spray. Like very rare that I did and if I did I used the e.l.f. one. But this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush one is really great. It Definitely my makeup lasts way longer when I use this I notice a difference and it just feels really good on the skin like when you spray it And then like I said, I've noticed a big difference since it's been so hot in Florida this summer I knew I needed a setting spray so that my makeup literally didn't melt off um, So the airbrush one from Charlotte Tilbury is really really good So that is everything you guys I know that was quite a bit of stuff at least I feel like it was quite a bit of stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed I am going to be leaving so many links down below for you guys so make sure to check the links out down below if you want to try any of these products out and I hope you guys like this video let me know by giving a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below if you're new here subscribe it is free hit that notification bell that allows you to know every time I upload a video so you don't miss out and yeah thanks so much for watching you guys I will see you in my next one bye guys